Hello, grade five learners. This is Ms. Sidazan, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about week three for our English classes. During this week, we're going to be covering punctuation, subject and predicate, types of sentences, listening, and spelling. We're going to be starting off the week by reflecting on punctuation marks and seeing how we can use it in our writing. We're going to be able to look at our, our first draft of writing from the previous week, and we're going to be able to self-check our writing. We have to know that punctuation marks play a crucial role in the written language. There's a lot of different essential functions that help convey meaning, clarify communication, and make written text more effective and readable. So punctuation is always essential in our writing and in any part of our aspects of our English lessons. We're then going to move on to subject and predicate. Here, as you can see, the subject of a sentence is what or whom the sentence is talking about. And the predicate of a sentence tells us what the subject is doing or what's happening to the subject. We have an example on the bottom here of the slide. It says, the cat is sleeping on the sofa. The subject here is the cat. And what is the cat doing? The cat is sleeping on the sofa. So that would be our predicate. Here it says the subject usually comes at the beginning of the sentence and the predicate comes after the subject in a sentence. So it's easy to identify where the subject and where the predicate is. Types of sentence. By using our communication skills, we're going to be able to identify the types of sentences. We have declarative, imperative, interrogative, and exclamatory. These are the four types of sentences we're going to be learning about and we'll, we will be implementing them in our writing. Using our listening skills. Here, we're going to be using our listening skills to listen to a story and implement our understanding by answering questions related to the story. So you're going to be focusing on exactly how to use your listening skills and how to focus and use all your understanding and everything you've learned to be able to answer questions re related to what you listen to. Spelling. We'll be ending our week by going over all the spelling words that we learned throughout the unit so far. We're going to see how we're going to spell them, the conventions that we need to spell them, and how we can use them in function, functioning sentences. Don't forget, every day is a chance to learn. Thank you so much for listening to the video.